Today's educational game that I play is the magnetic or not quiz. This is another fun physics exercise about physical properties as an object. And here I will imagine a magnet and if the objects will be attracted by the magnet or not. So the iron nail is magnetic and the paper clip should be magnetic. Again, uh, maybe most of the metals are magnetic, but not all of them. The gold ring, the gold, okay, well, mm, I think the gold was uh, <laughs> a little controversial. The gold should have very, very, very little magnetic properties. So, in general, if I try to attract a gold ring with a magnet, I will fail. I think. Yep. Okay, the silver necklace. Again, the silver is similar to the gold, but I think not. Alright, spoon. The spools are usually made from magnetic metals. Yep. Okay, the horseshoe should be magnetic. <gasps> My favorite Pepsi bottle. <laughs> okay, it's not magnetic. Hmm. Aluminum, again. I think, well, it's magnetic. <gasps> no, it's not. All right, the keys. Uh, I think the magnet will attract my keys. Okay, the scissors. Okay. The hard disk drive. Right, that should be another experiment. If I place a magnet on the hard disk drive, it will stay or it will fall. I think it will stay. So the hard disk should be magnetic. The wood is not magnetic. The glass is not. I think they are quite similar to the conductive properties. The frank pan is magnetic. Yes. Now, the ram stick. If I place a magnet on the ram stick, I think it will, it will not uh, stick, so it should be non-magnetic. The mouse. Ah, if I had a magnet, well, actually I have, but in the other room, so I will just use my memory. Mm, I don't think the mouse is magnetic. It's made of plastic. The hair is not magnetic. <laughs> my hair too. The t-shirt shouldn't be magnetic. Now, everyone have seen the magnets on the refrigerator from various holidays or vacations. So, that should be magnetic. The nail clipper is uh, magnetic. If I keep the magnets in the box with uh, my nail clipper, well, <laughs> the mag magnet sticks and the sword should be magnetic. The leaf uh, is not. And this is one of the metals that are not magnetic. The lead. So the lead soldier is non-magnetic. The wrench is magnetic. Springs. Okay, springs are usually made from metal, but there are surely plastic springs. In this case, I think it's uh, from metal. Okay, the diamond. Not that I have diamonds and I can test it, but they are similar to glass. So that should be magnetic okay, cobalt okay the cobalt is uh, near the iron in the periodic table so it should be magnetic it is uh, ferrum cobalt nickel magnetic okay the copper pot uh, wait copper copper is copper magnetic hmm. 
<laughs> of course, I can always check in, on the internet. But hmm, what should be the point of the in exercise then? I think the magnet will not stay on the copper. Yep. Ah, another nickel tube. Another nickel object. Okay, titanium. Titanium. Okay, it's magnetic. And ah, well, ah, nope, it's not magnetic. Titanium is not magnetic. Ah, it's strange world. Of course, this is only mm, how should I say the basic properties. And I got my new knowledge level, and that should be for today. And thanks for watching.